Hello, and welcome to Armstrong Fluid Technology Design Envelope 6800 Booster. We're going to go over the control system on this one. Inside the system, you have the disconnect, you have the distribution block, you have a surge arrestor, low voltage fuse supply, low voltage power supply, the fuse block, distribution block, the PLC, and the alphanumeric display. Today we're going to review a NEMA 12 enclosure with an alphanumeric display. As you notice, we have a remote, a setup, a diagnostics, and a service menu. The remote will turn the unit on or off. The setup will set up the unit. The diagnostics diagnostics the unit and tells you what PLC is loaded, and the service reviews the drives. So let's go to setup. We'll log in. Go to a level two setup. We have the number of pumps. We have anywhere from two to five pumps. We have a standby pump. As long as we have more than two pumps, you can install a standby pump. And you have level switches, two of them. The second screen will show us the switch time between lead pump and lag pump, which will alternate back and forth, relieving the load on one pump, and the power in kilowatts. The third screen is the suction sensor, discharge sensor, and remote sensor. It enables and sets the pressures between those sensors using a remote range and the local range we conform to the ASHRAE 90.1 2010 standard with an 85% pressure setback. The next screen takes us to our set point where we set up the set point and we save those limits. The next screen is an alternate discharge screen in case you want to set your unit to run uh, different speeds, different power during the day, start up early in the morning, slow up a little at night, or on the weekends when you have a lighter or heavier load. The next screen is the suction pressure limits and discharge pressure limits. The next screen is the emergency power mode. If for some reason you lose power and you have emergency power in your plant or business, what will happen is this unit will either kick back and run on one pump at a low pressure or still supply your building water. The next one is the factory shutdown, which is preset at the factory for as the maximum amount that the unit can put out on this unit is 232 PSI. The end of curve protection, once the pump's read end of curve protection, it'll turn the pump off or slow it down, and this one is disabled. Aquastat shutdown, in case you install an Aquastat on your unit and you want to control temperature, we can enable that and shut the unit down. Airlock pump shutdown, in case there's air in the pump, the pump will know this and it'll shut the unit down and alarm you. Pump staging speed, if we want to turn the pumps on at different speeds and turn them off at different speeds, which are factory selected, the unit will do this. Power on, power off, pump start delays, which are all set up in the testing procedure. The soft fill mode, so when you first took the unit up to your building, you can slowly fill the pipes to relieve all the air pressure without hurting any of the pipes. We set it up for 30% at 120 seconds to fill. The no flow shutdown, so once the unit notices that your building is not taking any more water and the pressure stabilized, it'll bump the pressure up and then slowly turn the unit off until it's ready for more pressure and and start over again. The unit saves electricity and power that way. The speed setup, which pretty much we load in the RPMs, and it tells us what, what speed to run the unit at, which is factory set. The PID, which factory tunes the unit to get the proper proportional integral and derivative for your unit so it runs. The BAS interface, you can hook up a Lawnworks card, a backneck card, back set, in IP or MSTP. Field bus setup is how the unit talks to the drives, and then you have a clock that logs any alarms or anything going on in the unit. We save all the variables, and that's the end of the setup screen. We also have a diagnostic screen. When we go to the diagnostic screens, it tells you the software revision, and if you have any problems with the PLC, the memory, or any of the networks. The last screen is the service screen. The service screen will show you all the drive standards, the voltage, kilowatts, and amperage, if it's ramping up, ramping down, or if you have any faults with the screen. That is the end of the screen review. As you can see, all the parameters are factory preset, so when the unit shows up to your site, it's plug and play. There's a few fine tuning adjustments you can make, such as the end of curve head, the air lock, and the aquastat adjustments.